All right, everybody, welcome back into Cherry Picking. Today's video must add for week 21 of the Fantasy Hockey season. I got three or three forwards to add, one defenseman. Looking at guys that really ha are playing a lot of games this week, starting on Tuesday. And then there's one guy that just got traded that I think is a really good value add. But before we get into that, I'd like to talk to you guys about Peace Collective. Actually, where I got this um, Pirates crew neck. They've got a ton of great vintage sports clothing if you want to load up on some stuff before the NHL NBA season ends. And then also the MLB season's Coming around the corner here, they've got some really nice stuff for pretty much every single team, whether it be a vintage crew neck, they've got great baseball caps as well. So head over there, the link will be in the description. Use our discount code, it's 10% off if you use Owner's Box 10. It's Owner's Box 10 at Peace Collective and you get some really sweet merch. So be sure to check that out as well. All right, so the first guy we're looking at adding this week is Ryan Hartman on the Minnesota Wild. He's at center and right wing capabilities in Yahoo leagues. He's only 30% rostered right now, so a little bit on the higher end for this video, but still someone I think you should definitely be adding if he's available right now. He's only played 41 games this season, kind of been uh, laboring with some injuries throughout the, the entire, uh, entire part of this season. Just nine goals, 14 assists, uh, one power play point, but his production is really starting to increase here. Um, I, I really like where he's playing for one on this first line now with uh, Kirill Kaprizov and then also Matt Zuccarello. Uh, looking over the last 10 games, he is second on their team in points with seven points and three goals. He's also fourth on his team in expected goals for over that time frame. Uh, but a lot of his offensive contributions, which is a good thing to rely on right now, is coming on or in five on five situations. It's not really relying on the power play with a lot of these guys. Like even Kirill, he has nine goals over his last 10 games, which is crazy. But like five of those, six of those are coming on the power play. So if you end up going against a team um, in a matchup that really matters, a team that doesn't take a lot of penalties like Carolina or something like that, you don't want to be handcuffed to a guy that's just purely uh, producing on the power play. So Ryan Hartman, not that guy, which is great. Another great thing for the Wild this week, they have four games starting on Tuesday. Day. So they start with the Flames, who they actually just played. They shut them out, won 3-0. And then they follow that up with the, the Jets, the Sharks, and the Coyotes. So definitely some plus matchups there, especially for Ryan Hartman. Um, we've seen him, as I mentioned, he's on that first line. He's now on the second power play line, not on the first power play line, but still playing a lot of minutes right now, which is great to see, especially over his last four games. We've seen him eclipse that 20-minute mark twice, which is something we didn't really see um, in the first half of the season or really since he's been getting back into full game shape. So at 30% rostered, I think Ryan Hartman is a really smart ad this week and definitely should jump to him as your top priority. All right, another guy we're gonna be adding this week, Nino Niederreiter, a guy that just actually joined the Winnipeg Jets coming over from the Nashville Predators. Um, I think he's in a much better position to succeed, especially in terms of fantasy hockey on the Winnipeg Jets. For starters, he's on a great line. He's on the first line with Mark Shifley and Kyle Connor, two guys that are very solid offensively. And he's also on the first power play already, and this power play has been very hot recently, also led uh, by Josh Morrissey on the point. Um, his first game against LA was not that great, uh, but since then he's been fantastic. A goal and three points uh, in those four games, nine shots on goal, and has played over 20 minutes in his last two games. Uh, since joining the team too, he's second in scoring chances, created third in high danger chances, four, and then third in expected goals for. So he's really making his presence felt early and often on this Winnipeg team. So scoop him up right now so you have him for the rest of the playoffs. All right, so a guy we're going to be looking at who's less than 10% rostered right now is Jesperi Kokniemi on the Carolina Hurricanes. So this guy just absolutely catapulted up fantasy hockey leaderboards, I would say, over the last week, especially since their last game against the Tampa Bay Lightning, which is a complete and utter dumpster fire right now over in Tampa. But Cockney Emmy, just 8% rostered. I, I think that'll definitely change this week, mainly because his performance against Tampa. He had a goal and four assists, so a five-point outing and a 6-0 win against Tampa. That's huge. Four of those points were coming on the power play as well. He doesn't play on the first power play, but he plays on the second unit, which is also just as strong, honestly. You have Paul Stastny, Seth Jarvis, Tuvo, and then now uh, Gossa Spear, who's also been fantastic. I think he has two goals in uh, just a couple games now with Carolina. Uh, people probably say, oh, it's just a fluke, but I don't really think it is. Like his production for Cockney has really been increasing um, over the last two weeks, I would say, especially even into February before that. He's playing on the second line with Marty Natchez and Tuvo Teravainen, who are both very solid offensively. Natchez is having a breakout year this season. His role has just continued to elevate on this team. Uh, in February, he played just eight games. He had four goals and seven points in just 15 minutes of ice time. And now, early in March, we're seeing him play 16 to 17 minutes per game, which is great. So it, it looks like Rob Brindamore is definitely trusting him a little bit more. He kind of needs to. You know, Max Pacioretty was supposed to be coming back at this time and helping this team for their playoff push and being able to score on offense. And now we're seeing it. We're seeing contributions from different different players um, that, that we wouldn't really used to seeing this type of offensive production. So it, it's good to see Jesperi kind of filling in that role. And then 
they play four times this weekend. They have some pretty solid matchups. They play Montreal tonight. That's Tuesday. Then they play Philly, Vegas, and New Jersey. So these two matchups coming up, definitely a target for player props or a lot of Carolina players if you are in the streaming business right now. Um, so Cockney at 8% roster. Definitely a guy to be looking at this week, especially considering the four games that he has. All right, so the last guy we're going to be adding this week uh, he's less than 10% rostered as well. He's a defenseman on the Pittsburgh Penguins, Marcus Peterson, at 6% rostered. I think he's a great value add this week. Pittsburgh has four games. I can look at that first game tonight against Columbus. That's always a plus matchup for any defenseman, really. Uh, they give up the most shots and scoring opportunities to defensemen throughout the entire season. And then the Islanders, Flyers, and Rangers to round out the week for the Penguins. So a lot of uh, interdivision play, obviously. But Marcus Peterson has been producing at a much higher offensive rate than we've seen uh, at any point of this season. Last five games, he has a goal and, and six points, so five assists as well. He's not necessarily super reliable when it comes to the offensive end with just 20 points on the season, but it is reassuring seeing Mike Sullivan put him in a little bit more offensive game situations. Uh, he's also playing on that second pair, D pair with Jeff Petrie, who's very offensive. We've seen it throughout the entirety of his career. And it's great to see that he's expanding his offensive usage, but what you can rely on for Marcus Peterson are his intangibles. You look at over the last 10 games, he's tied second in hits with 21, second in blocks, with 16 as well, and then he's 100 plus on the season in both of those categories as well. So a true utility player for this Pittsburgh team and at 6% rostered could definitely help you win this week. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Let me know if there's any other players you're looking to add this week. More than happy to help. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later on.